All right, let's uh, talk through some of the using the um, solid chucks and chuck jaws and components that are now supported in 2021 and what it has to do and how it works with standard lathe inside a master cam. So if you have a simple two, three or four axis uh, lathe machine definition and how those those components work. So if I look at this first group, uh, this is just a Haas um, ST20 SSY machine and I go to verify on here this is a tail stock and then a facing operation so typically this is what you'd see inside a verification where we have that revolved um, chuck jaw and this is kind of the only simulation that you have in standard master cam lathe which is why we have the MT product or the mill turn product now because that gives you a full machine simulation um, I can bring in chuck components uh, that will work across standard lathe to the mill turn environment um, and that's going into files here I'll hit edit and then on the left spindle you'll see uh, because this is a C axis lathe I have the C axis there if I didn't if I only had a two axis lathe the lathe chuck would be right on that left spindle but I can double click on the lathe chuck and here I could bring in a solid entity from a file a step file uh, that I downloaded from you know some manufacturer of chucks or I could parametrically define it here. I could say, all right, this is now a six jaw chuck. That looks good. Um, and now I want to make this thing eight inches, right? Okay. And then I can expand this out and I can do the same thing with the chuck jaws. I could come in here and bring in solid entity. So that's all new for 2021. Um, or I can do a parametric definition and let's change this to 1.25. Right, so that modifies that chuck jaw. So we have that full functionality inside of standard lathe. That's the environment I'm in here, right? And that's going to go through and update your profile of your jaws uh, based off of what we just updated, right? So I've got those new jaws in there. Let me move this arrow. So you see I have the new updated JAWS in this file. Uh, the only thing is, remember, we only have Verify for this. We don't have a machine simulation. So if I go back into Verify again, you know, it did update my spun profile in my JAWS with respect to, you know, if that was a solid entity or whatever, it's going to spin that around. But it's not adding a whole lot of value um, from a standard two or three axis lathe perspective. Uh, just because, you know, especially if I'm just doing turning operations, well, really all I need to know is the spun profile, right? I don't need to see those individual CAD files of the JAWS. We do now support uh, simple, you know, three, four axis lathes um, in the MT product, um, whether that machine is, is done or not, depending on what machine you have. And then in that case, if you're going to do some milling and you want to get in between the JAWS, you can see that in full simulation. But as the product currently stands and verify, uh, this is what you're gonna be stuck with looking at. So there's there's not, it, we do support it, it just doesn't add a huge value.